Hi, I'm Peter Kalmstrom of Kalmstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll give you an introduction to actions in general in SharePoint workflows. Workflows, of course, is an automation tool. It's something that you want to build an, a workflow that makes something happen. And I'm going to start a new workflow here, and that's going to be a 2013 workflow. Uh, which platform you choose there? 2010 or the 2013 does matter because one of the main difference between these type of workflow platform is which actions do they perform. So I'm going to select the 2013 workflow here and um, see show you those actions. But first of all, let's talk about the differences between a condition and, a, and an action. Each of those, the conditions and the actions, show up as one row of workflow code or script or whatever you want to call it. But when you select these things, you see it ends up being one row of text. And an action shows up as being one row of text also. Let's just delete that now because we're not going to work with those specific things. But that's how these work. Each condition, each action is a row in my script. You can also, of course, start typing these things. So if I want to send an email, I'll just type in send and I get that action inserted there. So as I mentioned, the range of actions that you have depend on which platform you are. But the, the main thing to remember now in this demonstration is how you work with actions. So you add an action, something that you want to do. And of course, you want to explore these actions in some details and we'll do that in another demo, I'll go through all of these and try to make an explanation for what each and every one does. But first of all, I want to give you an introduction to what actions are. And they are the things that make things happen in SharePoint or by email or by tasks or whatever. So this is the reason that you want to do a workflow. You want to make things happen. Some of these control the flow of, of the actual workflow. So that controls what happens next. There are some actions for pausing and uh, there are others for initiating or triggering other workflows. Moving on through the actions and what you do. As I said, when I when I add one of these action rows, there's some of these things that are slightly blue that you can click on. So in this case, it's an, it's an email form that pops up. If you, for example, uh, add the action, do a calculation, then you have three of these different, or actually four of these. These are the parameters for my calculation. I can select something from a lookup, or I can actually type in also the values for my calculation. So if I do this, one plus three, I will, of course, get the value four, which will be in, which will be outputted to my variable, which is called calc. So that's the generics of an action. You find your action, you click on the blue links to modify the parameters, and there might be one of those. And in some cases, there is none, and um, there might be many of them also. So um, that is my generic explanation or my run-through or my introduction to actions. Thank you for watching.